Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am headed over to the hospital. My mom had a little bit of surgery, and then after the hospital, probably gonna try to head home a little early tonight, try to get to sleep early, because we got a really long, early day tomorrow. Um, if you followed along at all from prior videos, we're headed over to uh, Kennedy Space Center very early in the morning tomorrow for a NASA social media meetup. Uh, we were selected one of 50 folks um, locally or around the world that are traveling over to Kennedy Space Center for a rocket launch. They're launching this MMS um, satellite system. It's going to measure uh, the temperature and uh, radio waves or plasma waves in between the sun and the earth. I'm probably butchering all of this stuff. I am really nervous about going there, to be honest with you, because I, I've looked, they've published a list of everybody that's going, and I have a feeling that like, 90 plus percent of the people there are far smarter than me. So I am definitely going to feel like uh, I need to sit in the back of the classroom, but I don't want to do that. And it's a very long day and we got to tour the facilities and all that good stuff, but I want to make sure I'm rested. But in the meantime, anyway, this is where we're heading. We're on I-4 and the sky looks pretty ominous today. Hopefully it clears up for tomorrow so the launch goes pretty well, because that's the other bonus. Tomorrow night there's a launch at a quarter to 11 at night and we get to cover that close by. So if you remember back when we went to New Smyrna Beach like four times in a row before final, the last launch finally went up, this time we're gonna be right there and able to see it and hopefully film it. Not right there because you need to be like a, a couple of miles away, but we will be the closest that you can get um, for visitors to the center to watch the launch, which is really, really awesome. And so this is Florida weather. This is not even five minutes since the last time that we filmed anything, and now it's just absolutely pouring outside. And look at these poor guys on the motorcycles. That stinks. I don't know how well you can see it, but it looks really cool to see like the sun peeking out of the clouds. The clouds are so dark, and then it looks like beams of light shooting out of the clouds. That's pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> I ended up leaving the hospital a little bit later than I had anticipated, but now driving home, the weather's calmed down a little bit. It's drizzling here and there, but now we're getting lightning, which is kind of nuts. So we're having kind of like a thunderstorm in the middle of March. It's a little weird. So by the way, most of the roads that you take in Florida have no lights on them, except for your headlights. So this is what you end up seeing the majority of the time when you're driving around at night, which is kind of crazy except for oncoming traffic. It's like that old game from Atari, I think it was, like the night driver type thing, and then you get people like this that decide that they want to have their brights on because they can't see, so. Anyhow, just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. Hey, I'm back home finally, and it's only 10, that's, the clock is wrong. I still need to spring ahead on the clock here, but it's 10.25, so now I get to finally eat dinner. And finally back home with this person eating potato chips. But she also made me peanut butter and jelly. That's my dinner tonight. Yay, at 10.30. But I'm not complaining because peanut butter and jelly is one of those things that I will forever go back to is like I can always eat that. It's one of my favorite things to eat still as a more than grown adult. And uh, my favorite food. That was just making me think about this for a second. Let's see if Mary can, let's give her a quiz. I've seen her for about five minutes now tonight. Let's, let's put her on the spot. My favorite thing to eat. Big ziti. She's right! <laughs> Big ziti is my absolute favorite thing to eat. And it's what Mary always makes me if we ever get into an argument. <laughs> so, that's good stuff. The other thing is, you know, we've got to get up, or I've got to get up now in another, like, four and a half hours or so to start getting ready for tomorrow. So that's kind of crazy. But um, I picked up a new water bottle, got my Brita so that I can refill. Uh, the water down here is not the greatest. Um, if folks ask that from outside of places, it's always tough to gauge like how the water is. I'm sure it's somewhere between better than Mexico and not as good as New York, if that solves anything for folks. But I clean up my Brita bottle, eat my PB and J, Upload this video, however short it is, and then get some sleep so that we can get out to Kennedy Space Center and go hang out with like really smart people and talk space stuff. 
You know, when I was a kid, that was one of my favorite things. You know, I wanted to maybe be an astronaut someday. It just never really worked out that way. Then I wanted to be a musician, and that never really worked out that way. So, I don't know. But, are you guys doing what you're doing? Or what did you want to do when you were growing up? And how far off the mark are you now? Because I'm pretty way far off the mark. But, anyway. And also, what's your favorite food? You let me know in the comments. So, I'm going to eat, download, wash, sleep. So, have a good night, guys. Sorry for the really short video. I'm sure tomorrow's going to be like super, 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 super long to compensate. So, thanks for all the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys.